Join us as we embark on a journey where we're breaking boundaries, setting new rules. We're making a difference, developing young people. We're the billionaire generation, connecting Africa, promoting entrepreneurship. It's inspiring, positive change. We're kicking, kicking doors. doors. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Welcome to Kicking Doors with me, Smooly Ope. This is the only platform which young people don't have to wait for doors to be open for them. We kick them down and we seize opportunities out there that are presented to us or presented to young people out there before. Also, see, one of the things that I love about our show is that we also get to take lessons from our predecessors in the process. People that have done it before, people that have walked the path before to come and share with us how they did it and how it's done. Other people show you the final product, but what we do on our show is we show you the processes. So on tonight's show, we get the ball rolling with Dr. Richie and expand your minds with the Mind Clinic. We catch up with a mover and shaker in our come up section and we have another candid one-on-one -on -one with the heavy hitter. Boom! You don't want to miss tonight's show. It's uh, packed, jam-packed with a lot of information, cutting edge. And uh, if you're an entrepreneur out there, or an aspiring entrepreneur, or a professional, or a young person, there's a lot to learn on our show. We would like for you to um, participate in social media as well. Um, join us or follow us on CNBC Africa. And our hashtag that I want everybody to use is hashtag kicking doors 410. Hashtag kicking doors 410. Hashtag kicking doors 410. I want everybody to use it out there because because of you guys, Africa, we trended last week for our second episode. We also trended on our first episode. It's all because of you. Yeah, you can give us a round of applause. <laughs> Africa, let's kick down those doors. All right, Africa, let's get this show on the road with Dr. Richie here to rearrange your mind on the Mind Clinic. How are you doing, sir? I'm blessed, and how are you, sir? I'm blessed, I'm lovely. What are you going to be talking about today? Uh, today, I'm going to talk about how do you shift your mind and how do you create outcome. But I also want to have interaction with the guys. They are free to ask me questions today, which is very important to me. But I'm starting with questions on them, and then we kick it to the next level. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Richie. Thank you. You know, it feels so good for people to clap for you sometimes, even if they don't know what you're about to say. That's the good part. But I want to ask a question. Is there something in your life that you want to start or you want to do, but you're scared of doing it because you don't want to fail and because you don't want people to laugh at you? You got something like that? You're nodding your head. Talk to me about it. My question is, I'm um, the first black female dealer principal to be appointed in South Africa. And when we talk the transformation language, we want to kick doors and we want to create a legacy and history. The next level is to own my own dealership. But yes, fear is Can you number stand one. Up? Of course I can. Can you stand up talking to me, stand up? Yeah. Yes. I know why I'm asking you to do that. All right. Fear. Fear. Where is the fear coming from? Mind, body, and soul. Can you shift how you're standing? Bring out your hand out. Thank you. This way. This, that's right. Okay. That's right. Now tell me, what is it that you say to yourself every time you remember what you want to do and fear comes on you? What do you say to yourself? I have to move on, Dr. Richie, and that's why I come to these shows. No, what do you normally say to yourself before the fear begins to engulf you? I say, Marsha, you are absolutely brilliant, but you cannot afford to fail. But you cannot afford to fail, absolutely. yet there is still something you say to yourself that creates a fear in you. What is that? What if I don't make it? What if I don't make it? And yes. when you are saying that, what do you focus on? What do you look at? Everything around me, it's challenging the barriers to entry in the male-dominated motor industry. And sometimes it's just difficult to move on. You have to keep yourself motivated. Awesome. Look at where I'm starting from. I put three things. The first thing I did was to shift how you were standing. Yes. Because with your hand behind you, it is submissive as a slave, but not that you're humble. Mm -hmm. Number two, I needed to know what you're telling yourself because what you tell yourself is what will focus your mind. Number three, I needed to know what you're focused on because whatever you focus on is what we create your limitation. Sure. If you don't change the picture, if you don't change your physiology, if you don't change what you tell yourself, what you play on the radio me, you will continue to stay below your standard. Question I want to ask you, tell me, where have you succeeded before? Gee whiz, I've had many, many first black female moments in the many, motor industry. In yes. the I want you to tell me, where have you succeeded? In everything that I've touched, Dr. Richie. Like? In my career, I was appointed the first black female dealer principal. Did you hear that? 
And number two, I was appointed the first black female general manager for another company as well. And number three, I was appointed the operations manager for the very first time in a heavy commercial truck rental company and they'd never seen a black female assume that position before. Number four? Sure. <laughs> number four. My mom died at the age of 21, leaving me with my two younger sisters. And um, one is a chartered accountant today and another is an author. If you can pick what you use in creating those results and change what you see against that, you will produce the same tangible result as you've done before. Success is in you, I can't give it to you. I only help to give birth to it. That's what I just did. Go home, look at yourself again and stop insulting who you are. You were called to raise the champions of the world and never look down on yourself again. Congratulations, you are the next step. Thank you. Your success follows your growth. The size of your growth will determine the success you're gonna have in your life. What she has established is how much she's grown, but she stopped growing because she started seeing limitation. It is my job when I work with people, ladies and gentlemen, to help people shift their limitation. It doesn't matter where you are, salesperson, marriage, relationship. We are here in Leadership 2020 to move you to the next level. Thank you, Dr. Richie, kicking our thought processes into overdrive once again. Now, someone who's already thinking outside of conventions is Nelisi Weshabango. She's only 23 years old. She's an entrepreneur who's established her own investment firm. I'm thinking what I was doing at age 23. Maybe, maybe, <laughs> you know, what were you doing at age 23? Well, Nelisi runs her own investment firm and it's called Bear Run Investments. Her company makes certain that people can attain financial freedom by means of trading and investing. But I'm going to tell you, oh, maybe I'm going to give her a chance or let her speak for herself and tell us her story. Nelly Seal. I'm all about um, empowering people, empowering young girls as well, and just living the life that you deserve and living your purpose. Now I'm a trader and investor as well, so through my personal experiences and the mistakes that I made with being a client for other companies, I saw, okay, this is what I don't want my clients to experience, this is what I want them to experience. So that's the, the real reason why I started the company, just to educate people and to inform them. What we do is we teach people the fundamentals of financial planning, um, investing in shares, trading on the stock market and even the forex market, investing short term, medium term and long term. And we even have your basic uh, training programs such as saving to invest, learning how to budget because at the end of the day it's not just about investing. You have to know how to manage your money on a day-to-day -day basis, on a month-to-month -month basis, how to save, how to trade and then ultimately how to invest. People in general assume that investing is for very rich people. But the reason why they're rich is because they invest. People really want to invest and they really want their money to grow but they're very reluctant because of the things that have happened in the past. The worst part is that people never know what they're investing in. You know, are you buying bonds? Are you trading um, MTN shares? Are you, are you trading Forex? What is it that you're investing in, hedge fund or whatever the case is? When it comes to the investment world, it's extremely, extremely strict. I mean, in South Africa, we have the Financial Services Board. So the challenges in the beginning were definitely how to actually get in. And there's a lot of funding um, happening through, throughout the country, but how do you get sponsorship? How do you get funding for something that educates people? Getting in touch with certain companies and partnering up with some of the best ones was also a bit of a challenge, but um, eventually we've got some of the best companies around. The first one is um, Daniel Keeble, who is the founder and managing director of CM Trading, which is a local and international trading company. What they do is they provide trading platforms and software free of charge for our clients who we train to, to learn how to trade the Forex markets and CFDs, etc. And then the second company is Emperor Asset Management. With that company, it's more long, medium to long term investing. They provide our clients with um, two funds. Fund one is a Robert Falcon Scott fund, and another one is a Sir Edmund Hillary um, fund. We have various workshops and seminars that we have, just in, in terms of just financial um, education, financial literacy. And then we allow clients, once they actually understand the whole concept of financial planning, financial management, saving, trading, and investing, then they have two options. They can either A, learn how to trade and manage their own funds, or um, which they can take one of our training programs, we have about five, 
or they can actually decide to invest on the long term with one of the two funds that our partners have. It's all about every client is, is exactly the same. We just treat them like a trader or we treat them like an investor. So whether you're here to invest 10,000 Rand or a million Rand or 10, 10 million Rand, it doesn't matter because at the end of the day, the financial benefit is actually yours, not ours. We have a new project that we started last year called FeeFine. It stands for Females with Finances. And basically it's a new project that we started and that just targets women between the ages of 18 and 35. And what we do is actually have events whereby we're going to invite a couple of these young ladies and tell them more about financial planning. So we're just trying to create a, um, a space whereby financial literacy, financial education and, and being financially independent is, is an end thing for, for ladies. I definitely see Baron Investment FSB regulated. I see us either being a stockbroking firm or more of an asset management company where we actually start investing our clients' money for them. But in the long run, I really see Baron as a hedge fund, which is the creme de la creme. That is the pinnacle of what financial, um, what the financial industry is all about. Being a young black woman, it's it's been tough. So it's been very difficult in terms of the clients. Funny enough, the, the MDs and the directors and the CEOs, they have that level of respect. They see that, okay, listen, she's young, she's hungry, she's intelligent, she's ready to go, um, she, she's ready to go the extra mile. Dress how you want to be dealt with. At the end of the day, I'm not going to dress like an average 23 year old. I have to carry myself in a certain way. And um, it's all about, at the end of the day, when, when people look at you, they say, okay, she's young, she's black, what is she gonna offer me? But then when you open your mouth and start speaking about how you can benefit their lives and our company and, and what we do, then they start forgetting about who I am. They focus on the actual company and what we can do for them. Africa, don't touch that remote. More kicking doors after the ad break. Join us as we embark on a journey where we're breaking boundaries, setting new rules. We're making a difference, developing young people. We're the billionaire generation, connecting Africa, promoting entrepreneurship. It's inspiring, positive change. We're kicking doors.